You're listening to the One Man Show Network. Welcome to the MMA Fight Picks Podcast with your host, Aaron Weinbaum. Aaron Weinbaum. Hey, and welcome to the MMA Fight Picks Podcast. This is your host, Aaron Weinbaum. I am trying something new. This is uh, Ecamm Live, uh, Periscope Edition, so bear with me here. I'm here tonight to pick fights for UFC Fight Night, Maya versus Usman, which takes place in uh, Santiago, Chile, which I believe was a big subject on There's Something About Mary. You'll have to watch that movie. <clears throat> To be held on May 19th, 2018. I see I have a viewer on. Hey, shoot me a question just so I can know this works. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to try. Oh, there it is. Okay. I am testing the many, many controls on this to So bear with me here. All right. So I can't tell when I have a comment or not. All right. No big deal. No big whoop here. So uh, like I said, I'm going to pick a few fights for UFC Chile. And uh, no particular order whatsoever. Well, it is a little bit of a particular order, but it's not all main card fights. It's really just kind of fighters I know because this is my podcast and this is how I roll. You see, I don't have any headphones on tonight because I don't have anyone on the other end. So uh, let's get this party started right now. So I'm going to look off my phone just because I'm not sure if I can see comments or not. Uh yeah, I don't know if I can see the comments or not, so I'm going to be rude here and look at my phone. You can't even see me look at my phone, but look. Ooh, look at that magic right there. Magic. Okay, maybe not magic. First fight, though, I would like to pick is, and this is kind of a sad one. Well, it's not a sad fight. It's a good fight. But we have uh, Brandon Moreno versus Alexander Pantojo. Now, the thing is that makes it sad is Ray Borg just recently had a child, and uh, he's going through several, several comp complications. You can see on my many Twitter accounts that he is, uh, has many seizures, uh, needs surgery, all kinds of terrible, terrible things. So he had to bow out of this fight, and as a short replacement, um, Alexandra came in. So, Brandon Moreno, let's talk about him for a second. I like him. I remember he comes off the Ultimate Fighter for the Flyweights, and he surprised me and beats Louis Smoker by submission. Round one, guillotine, comes out, beats Ryan Benoit, Dustin Ortiz, um, loses a decision to Sergio Pettis. Okay, it's pretty pretty respectable record. Now you have a short notice, Alexander Alexander Pontoja. Sorry if I if I uh, butcher your name, bud. Uh that will never listen to this. He just lost to Dustin Ortiz. But he has wins over Neil Siri and Eric Shelton. I I gotta go with Moreno on this. I love that guy. I love watching that guy. Um, yeah, Brandon Moreno. I'm not really sure how he gets it done, but he gets it done. Now we have Zach Cummings versus Mike Brazeris. So Zach Cummings, who missed weight, I believe, at welterweight, did he not? Am I am I wrong here? Yeah, he just missed weight. So he's a big guy. He missed weight at welterweight. Uh, it was a couple of fights ago. And I actually got to see him when he last fought, April 15th. It's over a year ago in Kansas City. So I saw him fight in Kansas City, and I need to remember who it was. It was, uh, oh, Nathan Coy, so technical submission. So I, I saw him fight there. He made weight for that, lost weight before that, 172 pounds. He had to fight there. Lost to Santiago Ponzinibbio. Uh, that's, you know... That's nothing to be ashamed of right there. So he's he's a bigger welterweight. We'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see if he makes the weight. He's going up against um, Michael Prezeris. Now, Prezeris missed weight at lightweight. How about that? Uh, I, I, I want to say it was his last fight. It may not be his last fight. Uh, he did. Oh, gosh. He lost weight badly. He lost weight twice. Twice in a row. Okay. So... He may be a smaller welterweight, but clearly he's too big to make lightweight limit. So, uh, yeah, 161 pounds, and then it was 159 pounds the, night, the time before that. Oh, shit, he's lost weight three times at lightweight. Holy moly. Oh, uh, no, great. I just uh, changed the ratings on this to explicit. 
So I'm going to try something here before I pick this fight. I'm going to go to the Raging Al account real right quick. And I'm going to go ahead and retweet the Periscope because I want to see what's up. I want to see what's up. So welcome, Iaquinta Realty people that may or may not have joined. I am picking fights for UFC Chile. Um, well, I'm going to go with Zach Cummins. Uh, bigger guy. Saw him fight, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do that. All right, now I'm gonna have to see if I have comments. Oh no, I don't know if I have the comments enabled or not enabled. Oh, I just totally messed that up. So, like I said, I'm trying to work with the functionality of the Periscope. Hey, anyone on here? Throw me a question, and. You can tag me on the Iaquinta Realty account if, if you're not able to throw a question on there if I don't see it. Because I'm trying to figure out how to work the old Periscope on um, Ecamm Live. How about that? All right, I'm going to check these Periscope. Eh, nope, 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 nope. All right, so I can't tell what's up here. So I definitely have some live viewers. So, yeah, throw me a question on here. You are on the MMA Fight Picks podcast, and for all you guys wondering who I Quinta Realty is, ask the question, and I'll tell you. But I'm not seeing that there's a question, so tag, tag a Twitter account associated with this. That's Aaron says what one or the I Quinta Realty, and let me know if you are able to ask questions on the Periscope or not, because I am a little confused on this deal. All right, but next fight up, we are going to go Jared Cannonier against Dominic Hayes. So, oh, wrong one. Oh, gosh. Bear with me here. What? All right, dead air, dead air. Okay, Jared Cannonier who I'm sure I'm butchering. He last lost to Jan Blockwitz, won before that against Nick Weirich. Lost a decision. I mean, that's a pretty big deal to go to decision with Glover Teixeira. Hmm, man. And then he won against some people I've never met. He's actually fought at heavyweight before. Uh, so, I don't know. Jan Blockwitz is, is uh, no slouch to lose to. Going up against... Dominic Hayes. All right, let's take a look. Dominic, he has just had straight wins, never been defeated, has fought. Now, this will be his third time in the UFC, and he's won by, oh, man, he wins by finishes, man. This guy is a finisher a lot of the time. I think he, I've only seen one decision out of his uh, eight wins. i got to go with this guy, man. Got to, you know, like I said, don't make any bets based on me, but I'm going to go with Dominic Hayes. Now I'm going to go to the main event of the evening. Damian Maya taking this fight on short notice against Kamara Usman. Now, why did he take this fight on short notice? I don't know why I'm drawing a blank, but I am, oh man. Well, I'm not going to find it today. That's all right. Uh, he least, he is on a two-fight skid, losing against Kobe Covington and Tyron Woodley. Those are no slouches, obviously. Uh, both unanimous decisions. That was a weird fight. Like He tried taking Woodley down probably a thousand times. Didn't do it. Woodley hit his, hurt his shoulder. It was kind of a stalemate type of a fight with, with uh, Tyron getting the better of him. And for that, a million wins in a row. Jorge Mazaval, Carlos Condit, Matt Brown, Gunnar Nelson, Neil Magny, Ryan LaFleur. So it's really hard for me to pick against Maya, except for this is short notice. And then you got Kamara Usman, undefeated. Says at his last fight, it was a really weird post-fight speech. And I, where was this at? This was, oh, it was in St. Louis. I missed that one too. I, I was near my hometown. Uh, yeah, so he beats Emil Meek, 
no slouch. Sergio Moraes, he's got wins over Sean Strickland, Worley Alves. Okay, here's the thing. I like Usman. I think he's talented. Uh, 30% or not talented, I don't know. He hasn't really beaten the caliber of a fighter that Damian Maya has. Damian Maya has even challenged for the title at middleweight. So, that being said, I got to go with Maya. I, you know, he's had trouble with grapplers in the past. He's had trouble with Rory McDonald. He's had trouble with, uh, who am I thinking of? Jake Shields in a, in a weird split decision. But then he mauls John Fitch. So, I, it just depends on the type of grappler that Damian Maya is going against. But in the end, I think he gets it done. I think he gets himself back up there in the top five and, uh, the Usman hype train ends for now. So, if there are no questions on the Periscope, since I can't seem to see the comments, yeah, I'm trying once more here. No, nope, I'm not getting it. So, I apologize if you are making comments. Um... Uh, uh, lots of people joining and leaving here. So if you're making comments and I'm missing them, I am super sorry. Try one more time. I think I may have figured something out. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and end this podcast. So uh, until next time, this is Aaron Weimon with the MMA Fight Picks Podcast. Uh, hopefully next time I will have a guest. Shalom. Please remember to support the podcast by visiting the affiliate links on AaronSaysWhat.com. Are you looking for a permanent home for your podcast? Well, Spreaker can do it all. Spreaker will give you your own RSS feed that you can submit to other platforms, including iTunes. Spreaker's mobile app will let you record from your smartphone, or you can use their web-based console with everything you need to record. Their podcasting plans include being able to host multiple shows at no extra charge. Got a YouTube channel? Spreaker's got you covered. You can effortlessly upload your podcast audio to your channel. You can even move your current podcast to Spreaker without losing any of your iTunes subscribers. Try any plan. Plan 30 days for free using promo code ASW.